Hello friends, welcome to my another video tutorial on WordPress and WooCommerce for intermediate and advanced users. In this video tutorial and upcoming video tutorials, I will be customizing different WooCommerce options, styles and other templates over how to override templates and I will perform how to add an additional information in WooCommerce and how can we easily override the default template structure or override the far functionality of a WooCommerce particular page or style. So if I'm sure you already knows what is WooCommerce and uh, how you can set it up and install it uh, and customize it for your store. But if by any chance you don't know what is WooCommerce and how to install it and set it up and running, then you must watch my previous tutorial on WooCommerce introduction and the link is given in the description. In my every upcoming video, I will put the link of the previous video and from that previous video, you can find the link to the previous video. So I hope you understand what I mean. So before you start customizing WooCommerce, you should know that there are two basic sources which you should consider while customizing uh, WooCommerce or even customizing WordPress theme or plugins. These are the best sources available on internet to get used to these two tools, WooCommerce and uh, WordPress. So the first source is WooCommerce codex. To open the WooCommerce codex, just type in your Google WooCommerce Codex and you will see the first link click on it and here you will see different options like different categories and we will be considering three categories from here one is extending the other one is snippets and the third one is theming the rest creating plugins is not the scope of this these tutorials and maybe in future I will create how to create plugins for WooCommerce but for the sake of these tutorials I will be using these three maybe some of the feature I will find here as well but my main concern use extending features snippets and theming the other uh, source is WooCommerce uh, sorry WordPress codex so this is the main page of WordPress Codex. We can find how to, we have already seen add filter and add action and remove action features of WordPress. And if you don't know about these functions, add filter, add action, you can watch my previous tutorial where I have explained them very well and make some own my own functions and show them how they work and how can we override the default functionality easily without modifying the actual original file. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So what is the today's agenda? In today's tutorial, I'm going to tell you, let me open first my shop page. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about how we can customize this shop page. The first, we will learn how can we remove these showing result and sorting feature. Why I'm showing this? Because consider one of your client or you have many few products, it does not have too many, but you have few products on the shop page, like for example, only four products. We don't have 32 products, but we have only four products. So it is unnecessary to show this that showing one of 10 or out of 32 results or showing the sorting when we don't need the sorting of few products or we don't need to show this. So how can we override it? Simply open your favorite editor and in your child theme 2017 child theme open up function.php now what we will write here for in function.php we don't know that what we should write so to know it that what we should write first we need to log in 
to our admin panel first thing first logged into your dashboard wordpress dashboard wherever you are on live server or, and after that open the shop page so it is a woocommerce store and now if you see you have seen this admin bar and this will tell us and i am going to tell you about that you see this icon little what the file this is a plugin which i have already explained what is it about and why i am going to use it so this function will tell us that this particular page is using archive product.php file further it's showing that this complete page have following template parts as well but we are not concerned because these are the part of theme not the part of woocommerce so we will look it, it as it shows that archive product.php file is responsible for displaying these contents so let's go and look at archive.php file open your favorite text editor and i have added also the woocommerce plugin here just to show you you must have a copy of it in your machine as well or if you are working on a local machine you will already have it in your plugins folder wp contents slash plugin folder and you can copy it here after that so our task is to remove showing this and this default setting so what the file told us look for archive product.php file let's go and look for archive.php file and here you see we need to find this rule that how it is displaying this showing result if you don't know that where to look for it open this and read it go through quickly and you can see these two action and i have explained what the, it does it will run two function and those two functions are here mentioned in comment section of woocommerce all the woocommerce structure have done this that whatever action or filter is here they will tell you which file or which function is responsible for doing this so this two action before main contents its output wrapper and it will output breadcrumbs which is shown here this if you look at this breadcrumb here and this one is showing here okay so this one is responsible for this this action we don't look for it this one is not over concern so don't look for it then it says woocommerce page title page title of course page title is this one the next one no we are not looking so look for the next one the next it says woocommerce archive description that is also another thing that how to display archive description in taxonomy and product if you don't know these you can add in your products categories and taxonomies description you can easily add them by going into admin panel anyways that is not over. and then here comes the loop the classic wordpress loop if have post so it result next to it is woocommerce result count result count so after this description result count so this one is result is showing so you should consider it's the result so it means these two hooks catalog ordering and woocommerce result counts are responsible for displaying these two information so what i'm going to do is just copy everything here copy it in my function.php of child theme at the end i will write here woocommerce customization stars yeah, just for the sake of knowledge that or in future changes i know it start from here and i paste simply this action here simply do action loop and i will remove use remove action and let it to be like this and remove as you know remove action needs two parameters uh, basically three parameters third one 
is sometimes optional but when it is used in add action or do action you must be used it in remove action as you can see it's used here 20 and 30 means this is telling you that this hook is using these two functions with the priority of 20 and 30 so you have to write them same in order so I copy this one first and paste it here then I will write 20 and simply I will copy all this for the sake of right not writing it again and paste it here remove remove and this is 30 I will write 30 I will copy this and paste it here so save this file and go to your browser reload it and you will see that this result and the default sorting feature has been removed successfully from the shop page so this is the first and basic functions of remove functions remove action to remove like this action we can also like if suppose if i do add remove action we have already done and we want to say something else here so what i will do i will do remove and add action and my view camera result count and it is 20 30 then i will create function my view camera and count simply i will return to uh, showing 1 to 30 of 100 products 100 products and run uh, echo sorry and you see it is showing here you can put here a html tag as well uh, run it and it, it will it will be it will be this p tag thank you very much for watching my tutorials i hope you liked it please do subscribe to my channel for upcoming and latest tutorials where i'm going to show you more customization of WooCommerce. This is just the first tutorial of proper customization. Thank you once again and have a good